before I leave the, the healing uh, and drumming uh, session that we're going to have, I just want to say a little, uh, explain a little bit of what we're going to do. And I chose to write mine. Usually I speak from spirit, but if I did, we'd be here for another half hour. So I'm just going to read. As an ordained priestess in the Yoruba spiritual system known as Ifa, I would like to share with you who are the Yorubas and their tradition. The Yoruba or Ifa, Ifa spiritual practice deal uh, dates back to the Nak culture or civilization of ancient Egypt over 4,000 years. This practice was brought to the Americas by the enslaved people of Africa. Today this practice is worldwide. However, the largest concentration is in Nigeria and in West Africa. In order for this religion or practice to survive during slavery, the creative and brilliant descendants synchronized it with Catholicism, and today this fusion is known as Lukumi, Condomble, Shango Baptist, Santeria, and Ifa. All of them derived from Ifa. Yoruba believe in one God, known as Olodumare, and Olodumare is both male and female. It's yin and yang, it's night and day, it's hot and cold, it's male and female, it's passive and aggressive energy. The aspects of this manifestation are called orisha, or seat of power. For example, we will say like Oshun is the same energy as la calidad del cobre, or as Venus, or in India would be Lashmi. And so they all have uh, different uh, synchronizations. Orisha is the spiritual essence of God. So Orisha is the spiritual essence of God. And if we believe that Olodumare is both male and female, then the essence of God manifests as aggressive male and passive female, but both required for creation. And so each principle or essence has a place in the order and the laws that govern the universe. In order for society to succeed and flourish, there has to be order and balance between all things, the male and the female, the positive and the negative. This order comes about when the solutions the order in a society comes about when the solutions to the problems are based on the understanding of the need, the respect and, that is required and necessary to sustain, support, and leave a legacy for future generations. According to scientific data, female in most societies outnumber males in order to balance the need for an order for uh, this order. The brilliant ancient ancestors of the Yoruba created or adopted the institution known as plural marriages or polygamy. Conversely, in society when there are more male than females, the practice of polyandry was adapted in such places as Pahari, Tibetan, and Nepali culture. Polygamy was developed out of a necessity Plural marriages allow every female of marriageable age to have an opportunity, if she desired, to have a mate, to procreate, to be protected and provided for. However, with the decline of the indigenous practices, polygamy became an institution for subjugation through the patriarchal male-dominated society. The subjugation of female creates imbalance in the universe. And if each energy that is a manifestation of the creator has male and female energy, they're equal and there's a, there is a place for them. And the place is to coexist, just as we've been saying. So Shango is as important as Yamanjaa. 